Royal author Angela Levin suggests that the Invictus Games might be strategically sidelining Prince Harry. Speaking on GBN America, Levin notes that the event's increased focus on royalty due to Harry and Meghan Markle's participation could prompt a shift in direction, potentially signalling their diminishing involvement. I wonder if that's a way to ease Harry out. He's been very nice about Harry. But it's become too royal, much too royal. Meghan makes the speeches and she actually led a march with some of the ex-military people who were either physically, emotionally or psychologically damaged during the fighting. They were very upset. She knows nothing about how to march and she looked like she was at a dress show. They don't want that or to hear she's late because she had to give her children a milkshake for three days. She gave a speech about how to be strong and fight against things, which I think was rather insulting. It's taken away from what is the idea, which is to allow these people to live another life. Harry was marvellous with these people and showing that life's worth living. Now it's all about Meghan and Harry following behind. The Games will be holding a 10th anniversary service next month, but whether Harry makes an appearance remains to be seen. Once again, a security concern has prompted Prince Harry to cancel his return to England for the Invictus Games service. Consequently, the 10th anniversary event may proceed without his presence. Additionally, there are reports indicating that he felt deeply offended when King Charles evicted him and Meghan from Frogmore after their departure from the UK. Now, turning to the main topic, let's discuss the Invictus Games and its significance. Established in 2014, the Invictus Games is an international multi-sport event for wounded veterans. The upcoming 10th anniversary celebration is expected to take place at St Paul's Cathedral in London next May. Although Harry and Meghan Markle are listed as guests, Harry's participation remains uncertain due to recent controversies and his relocation to the US. While Harry hasn't officially withdrawn from the event, security concerns may necessitate his participation via online means. This decision stems from his perceived security risks during visits to the UK, particularly after recent tensions and uncertainties. Furthermore, the choice of venue, St Paul's Cathedral, appears to reflect Harry's desire for a royal setting. However, there are questions regarding the practicality of ensuring his security at such a public location. Regarding Harry's past military service and his role as the founder of the Invictus Games, there are conflicting opinions on his current suitability as a representative. Some argue that his continued involvement is crucial for maintaining the event's spirit, while others believe that a transition to a new patron might be necessary for the organisation's long-term sustainability. In light of Harry's recent controversies and his perceived disconnect from his royal duties, questions arise about his legacy and the future direction of the Invictus Games. While some view his concerns about security as exaggerated, others argue that they reflect genuine fears and challenges faced by public figures. Ultimately, the uncertainty surrounding Harry's participation in the Invictus Games highlights broader questions about his role in the royal family and his evolving relationship with the public. As the situation unfolds, it remains to be seen how these factors will impact the event and Harry's ongoing involvement.